Just behind me is blue spruce or Colorado spruce. It's in the family Pinaceae in the genus Picea and the specific epithet is pungens. So Picea pungens is the full species name. It's a spruce, so the cones hang singly and downward, and the needles are singly attached to the twig. Let's take a closer look at its characteristics. The bark of spruce starts out uh, smoother, and then it breaks into these sort of scaly plates, little small uh, scaly, and stays this uh, fairly gray, little bit of brown color. Uh, for some of the spruces we'll see on this campus, the bark is not as distinguishing as what you might see if you're looking across the country or across the world at different spruces. Similar to other spruces, if you look straight on the twig, it looks a bit like a bottle brush where the needles are coming out all the way around. The Colorado or the blue spruce tends to have the sharpest, stiffest needles, so if you just grab a hold of it, it's fairly uh, pokey and uncomfortable. The color blue is common, but you can also see Colorado spruce having a darker green color. So don't go by color alone. Most of the Colorado or blue spruces you see in an urban landscape are chosen for their blue color. This is the cone of Colorado spruce. Again, the papery, slightly reflexive scales, and the edge of the scale has it's a little bit of a, almost like a fringe to it, and it's got a slight yellowish color. You may see some resin to it, that's not uncommon. Um, and again, these would be hanging down from a twig, not pointed up. Here are a couple of Colorado spruce, typically single trunked, but again in an urban landscape you might see multiple or a f trunks or, or a fork part of, the, part of the way up, but generally an X current form with narrower branches near the top and then widening at the base.